Hey, what is up, everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. <clears throat> it's Cam Jennings here, aka Zero Fats, aka Cam Fats. Um, I am the owner and operator of EpicConversions.com, the Zero Fats Returns YouTube channel. You know I gotta sponsor myself. Hey, if you can't sponsor yourself, who else is gonna sponsor you? <laughs> right? You gotta be able to sponsor yourself. So, um, anyways, I hope everybody's doing amazing out there today. Um, I'm gonna give people a chance to get in here. Anybody who wants to watch this live, I don't wanna start uh, without the people who wanna be here live. As you guys are rolling in, let me know if you can hear me. Um, I got some stuff to talk about. Not, not, not too much to talk about. I'm not gonna keep you, not gonna keep you here for too long. But I do wanna, um, I do wanna uh, talk to you about a few things. Uh, I was reading a story uh, today, this morning, that I thought was really, really cool. You might have heard this story before. You might not have. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm at my house right now, though. Uh, I'm not at my office today. And yeah, my wife's not been feeling too good, so. Um, I'm staying home here for a couple days and uh, just working from the old laptop. <laughs> so I hope everybody's doing amazing out there, though. And uh, I did, I did want to tell you this story first off that I uh, that I read, uh, and and I'll just read it to you, and and then I'll tell you my thoughts on it. Uh, so, anyways, uh, so here here goes the story. All right. So once there was an older man who was broke. Right. He had no money. He was living in a tiny house. Uh, he owned a beat up car. <laughs> Tell me if you've been there before. Tell me if you've you've lived in a small crappy apartment or a tiny house and you've owned a junk car that wasn't very good, you know. But anyways, uh, he was living off of ninety nine dollars a month. Social security checks, ninety nine bucks. I think social security checks come every month. He was living off of ninety nine dollars a month uh, with, from his social security checks. Um, he was 65 years old, all right? This guy was 65 years old, all right? So he decided that things had to change, right? Um, he was trying to figure out what he had to offer, okay? Uh, he wanted to change his life. He was trying to figure out what he had to offer. Well, all he knew was that his friends said he had a great, you know, chicken recipe, you know? And, and you think about that for a second. I mean, it sounds good on paper, right? Hey, my friends say I have a great chicken recipe, but how many of your friends say you're good at this or good at that, right? I mean, it sounds in the story like the pieces all just fall together, but if you think about it, you got to connect those dots, right? You got to connect those dots. Most people don't, you know, you know, take their friends saying they're good at something and connect that into a business. Most people don't do that. And this one especially, just because you're good at cooking chicken, you you got a good chicken recipe, your friends say you're good at cooking chicken. Man, this is a good chicken recipe. You did a good job on that. You, you're going to translate that into a business? Most people wouldn't think that, you know? But anyways, he decided that this was his best shot at making a change, right? He decided this was going to be his best shot at trying to do something, right? Now, he was, he was uh, living in Kentucky at the time, and he traveled to different states trying to sell this chicken recipe that he had, right? And, you know, he told restaurant owners that he had this, like, mouth-watering chicken recipe. He, he often called the recipe, he, 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 he offered the recipe to them for free uh, and just asked for a small percentage on the items sold. Uh, he thought it sounded like a good deal. Right, but most of the restaurants did not, they weren't interested in that. Right um, now, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the story in just a second, but I want you, I want to pause that because, like I said, it sounds really good when I read it. But it, let's imagine that for a second he was 65 years old living off of social security checks in Kentucky. All right, his friends told him he was pretty good at making chicken. So he decided that was his best shot to make a change, and he was 65. Who thinks they're just going to make a change at 65? At 65 years old, most people think, hey, man, I'm just going to try to ride this out and die because, like, most of my friends are already old and, and had it, and, uh, you know, I'm just going to ride this one out. I I'm done making changes in my life or whatever. But anyways, so he he's living off this $99 Social Security check, you know, and he decides he's going to make a change. And, and he takes this chicken recipe, 
And he goes around to all these restaurants on in different states and stuff. Not just staying in Kentucky, but in different states. Now imagine that for a second. You got a crappy, beat up car, right? And, and you got this idea in your head that maybe you can make some money off of this chicken recipe, <laughs> right? And, and, and how, is he, he, how is he paying for gas? He's driving around in this beat up car from state to state to all these different restaurants. He's probably broke as hell, man, because you know he's using his money for gas, right? He doesn't have a lot of money. This dude is taking a serious risk, right? Maybe he just figures hell with it, man. I'm 65 years old. What do I got to lose? What do I got to lose? I'm 65 years old. Who cares, right? So anyways, let me get back to the story. So most of the restaurants said no. They were like, yeah, whatever. He heard no, in fact, over a thousand times, right? He didn't give up. He did not give up, even after all those rejections. And maybe that was because he was 65. Maybe it was because he was like, dude, I either do this or I go back to doing what I've been doing, which sucks. So I'm just going to keep on trying. What, what else do I got to lose? I don't know. But in total, he ended up getting rejected a thousand nine times before he heard yes, right? <laughs> a thousand and nine times. Now, look, let's think on this for a second. Can you imagine making $99 a month in a social security check, driving around in a beater that barely runs, going to over, going to 1,009 restaurants and trying to sell your chicken recipe? Imagine that just for a second. What would that be like? I can't even imagine. Man, I get frustrated just driving around Christmas shopping for about three hours, <laughs> let alone driving around to a thousand and nine restaurants trying to sell a chicken recipe. Not to mention the fact that I'm 40 years old. This cat was 65. <laughs> he was 65 years old and had zero, very little money whatsoever. So anyways, um, finally somebody said yes. Uh, and with that one success, Colonel Hartland Sanders changed the way Americans eat chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken, popularly known as KFC, was born. And then the moral to that story is, you know, never give up, always believe in yourself uh, in spite of rejection. I thought that was a pretty awesome story, you know, never give up, always believe in yourself in spite of rejection. The problem with that story is, it, it is cliche. We've heard that before. We've heard never give up, always believe in yourself in spite of rejection. We've heard it before. But when you really dig into the story and think about all the stuff that this guy did, it, it's pretty crazy and pretty amazing, um, you know. You know, people take these stories, and, and the stories are full of adversity. I mean, they really are. They're full of adversity, and uh, they they kind of bundle them up in these nice little uh, you know posts of these nice little videos. They're really easy. For people to uh, comprehend, um, but when you really dig in, there's a lot of adversity in there that doesn't make it into the simple little 300-word article or the simple little five-minute video. There's a lot of adversity in there that doesn't make it into that. The, the, the blood, sweat, and tears of it uh, somewhere along the way that gets lost in the translation. And we read these stories, and they do inspire us, but the inspiration wears off. And, and they're just, there's not a lot of substance to what ends up on the page, you know, or what ends up on the video. But if you can read through, if you can read in between the lines, you know, if you can read in between the lines of what's written there and just imagine what that would be like to, to do that, you know, to do those things, it would be crazy, you know? So anyways, that is, um, that is the story I want to talk to you about today. That's the uh, motivational story I wanted to talk to you about today. It's Colonel Sanders, the founder of KFC, uh, did not find success with KFC until he was 65 years old. And, uh, well, you just heard the story. So I, I think it's amazing. I, I think it's a great story. Uh, and it, it proves that it's, it's never really too late to start doing something. But also it proves that you can't be defeated by age and you can't be defeated by no you can't be defeated by failure you know so I don't know it's an interesting story um, I want to move on before I do let me go ahead and sponsor myself again 
If you don't know, uh, I am Cam Jennings, uh, also known as Cam Fats on Facebook, also known as Zero Fats on YouTube. I do run EpicConversions.com. That is my blog. Uh, go check it out. And uh, I would uh, love to warmly invite you all to go check it out. I have a uh, free free offer over there. It's, it's uh, 50 ways to flood your website with targeted traffic. It's, it's an absolutely free uh, course. Help you drive traffic to your properties. Also, I have another freebie over there. It's, uh, it's, uh, how, it's, uh, it's a seven-step YouTube template. Uh, so it'll help you uh, build a YouTube channel. If you don't know how to build a YouTube channel, but you're interested in doing something like that, this will help you do that. All right. So, so those are two freebies over there on EpicConversions.com. Go check them out. Um, let me, uh, let me just uh, hold on just a second here. I want to uh, just check a couple things before I move on to my next topic here. I want to talk to you guys about something that's really cool to me. Uh, all right. So. Uh, The next uh, thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was this idea of making YouTube channels or making blogs or making making like you know things out there where you don't just talk about one thing where you can basically talk about anything you want to talk about right like A to Z A to Z YouTube channels or A to Z blogs where you don't have to talk about just one thing right because in marketing, we've always been taught to niche down, you know, sub niche, sub niche, sub niche, you know, that's the key, you know, just focus on one specific group of people. Um, and it's easier for you to build an audience that way. And it's easier for you to make money that way. You know, we've always been taught that, but that's not the only way to do things. There are ways to niche down and yet still give yourself the freedom to talk about whatever you want to talk about right now I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about if you go over to YouTube and you type in the richest right if you go over to YouTube and you type in the richest and you know what I'm gonna do I'm, I'm actually on the channel right now I'm gonna put a link to that below this video okay so you can see what I'm talking about but if you go over to YouTube and you and you type in the richest and you go to this YouTube channel this is just one example, okay? It's just one example. But this guy does top 10 videos, okay? And he talks about whatever he wants to talk about, right? One day he can talk about, uh, you know, nations and government. The next day he can talk about sinkholes. The next day he can talk about comic books. The next day he can talk about, you know, piercings. You know, the next day he can talk about alien abduction. It doesn't matter. The guy can talk about whatever he wants to, okay? And, and the reason he can do this, the reason he can talk about whatever he wants to, and he has this freedom, and Carter, what's going on, my man? Um, the reason he can do this, the reason he can just talk about whatever he wants to is because he is, um, he, he is using the common theme of top 10, right? He's using this list theme, right? The, the, the common denominator is top 10, top 10 this or 10 weird that, right? I watched this one video he did. It was like 10 roads you would never want to drive on, you know? And it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. And I sat there and watched it. And then a bunch more pulled up in my feed and I watched about three or four more. And, uh, but he's got this top 10 format, right? And this allows, this allows him to basically talk about whatever he wants to. He doesn't just have to talk about internet marketing. He doesn't just have to talk about, you know, exercise. He doesn't just have to talk about dieting. He doesn't have to stay in any niche. He can elusively move through any niche he wants to move through just because he has this common denominator of top 10. All right. And I think it's brilliant and it is really brilliant, honestly. And if you, if you look at his channel, his YouTube channel has over 6 million subscribers. So it's not just me who thinks this idea is brilliant. Okay. 6 million subscribers. The common denominator is top 10 list videos of mind blowing facts, list videos of mind blowing facts. Rob Reese, what is going on? Rob Reese just had a really cool post, uh, on his, uh, 
on his, uh, not, to, not to change the subject, but Rob Reese just had a really cool post on his uh, Facebook profile, um, you know, where he talks about, you know, uh, you know, being an ex-drug dealer, and he talks about, um, you know, having to learn the hard way about this stuff not being good, being really, really bad, uh, turning to a Christian, and uh, at the end of that post, Rob Reese um, puts like a little menu there where he has an arrow and it says like, you know, like, love, and it has a few different options, right? And there's a little arrow pointing to like. I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was a really cool post, man. I thought it was really, I thought it was a really cool post. So awesome job on that, Rob Reese. Everybody take a, take a note out of Rob Reese's book uh, for Facebook posts. It was really cool, man. Um, so anyways, back to the story. The point is, this YouTube channel, The Richest, uh, okay, he can float through any niche he wants to because he has this common denominator of, I do top 10 lists. That's what I do. Okay, so that's interesting. Yeah, absolutely, man. Great job. Um, so that's interesting because how many of you out there don't feel like pigeonholing yourself into a... Uh, how many, how many people out there don't feel like pigeonholing yourself into like the make money online niche? How many of you out there want to talk about the make money online niche today? And maybe you want to talk about exercise tomorrow, or maybe you want to talk about alien abduction the next day, or maybe you want to talk about some crazy political thing you saw on the news the day after that. How many of you out there don't feel like setting in one niche, right? But you'd still like to not have like a million different things to try to promote all these different things. You just want to promote the one thing, your one asset, and you want to build that thing up and build an audience around that, but you want the freedom to be able to talk about whatever you want, right? Well, this is the kind of thing that you need to look at, like lists, videos, a mind-blowing facts. Illuminati, <laughs> exactly, exactly, man. And I'm with you, man. I'm all into that conspiracy theory stuff. I'm, I'm all over it, dude. But anyways, um, it's interesting. And, and here's why I bring this up. Um, it, now, when we talk about list videos on YouTube, it's not just the richest. There's a lot of list, there's a lot of list channels on YouTube. And they're, they're there because they're very popular. People like them. People like these top 10 lists. And right now, I can tell you, people's attention spans are shrinking a little bit, and they're really getting into these top five lists. Just give them five. Just top five. No, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a Freemason. No, 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 not at all. Um, so anyways, um, anyways, uh, so yeah, uh, so people are getting into this kind of stuff, all right? This is very easy. Easy, easy, easy way to talk about whatever you want to flow through all kinds of niches and still be relevant, right? Still, still, still be right on point and, and pull in a lot of people. Um, just be interesting. You don't have to talk about any one niche. You don't have to talk about any one particular thing all the time. You just have to have a point. Talk about something interesting and have a point. That's it, right? So the reason I'm bringing this up is because a good friend of mine, uh, Arun Chandran, just uh, released a really cool product, and it's it's 15 ClickBank reviews. All right, and when I when he gave me a review copy of it, I looked at it, and I gotta be honest with you, when I looked at it, I was like, this is really cool. But the first thing I noticed was these 15 reviews are in a few different niches. Right, they're in a few different niches. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, dude, if I'm in one niche, how am I going to use all these reviews? They don't all apply to me, okay? <laughs> they don't all apply to me. I'm in this one, like, little thing. How does this work? Um, and, well, I'm telling you, this is, this is how it works, okay? So let's say I do – I don't do a blog post. L let me give you a list. Let me show you what I'm talking about. With with a runs with with our runes, I'm sorry. Uh, for the longest time, I called him a run. Okay, you guys know our rune, right? Our rune juggles fiery objects. <laughs> all right, our rune makes us all laugh with his Facebook memes and his videos. Right, you know our rune is awesome. Let, let's just be real. I mean, how do you juggle firing objects and not be awesome? <laughs> He's a cool guy. So, anyways, let me give you the list of the 15 ClickBank product reviews 
that Arun sent me. All right. Now keep in mind, Arun is my favorite PLR writer. Arun writes really good PLR. And let me let me hold on a second. Let me put a. Um, I will put a link to his sales page for you uh, in the. Uh, in, in the description of this video, I will put a link to the, so you can go check that out if you want to. But I have more to say about it and I want to talk to you about it. And don't go yet because you're going to want to hear what I have to say. Matter of fact, if you know anyone out there who wants to start a blog or a YouTube channel, I highly suggest you share this video with them because it will probably help them. Okay? So I'm going to, I'm going to put a link to Arun's uh, product uh, right there. But do not go yet. Wait. Finish this video because I think it will help you. All right. So, anyways, um, let me let me read the list of, of product. Let me read the list of articles. Keep in mind, Arun's my favorite PLR writer. He's really good. He, he writes well, right? So when I get PLR from Arun, I don't have to adjust it. I don't have to change it to make it look more human. You know, I don't have to fix a bunch of weird typos from someone who speaks broken English. I don't have to do that. What is up, Ken Ellis? How are you, man? I don't have to do that. Arun's a really good writer. He's funny, but he's also intelligent. He knows how to make it work. So that's great. I can just plug his stuff in and go. I like that. But let me read these, let me read these article titles to you so you understand what I'm talking about. So Arun did some ClickBank, um, ClickBank product reviews. They are meant for you to take them, put them somewhere, and make money off of the products. Right? That's what they're meant to do. You're meant to go get affiliate links from ClickBank and then take his articles, put them on your blog or, or, or convert, convert the review to like a YouTube video and then just put a, a, an affiliate link in the description and make money off of the products. That's what these are meant for you to do. Let me, let me give you the titles, okay? Um, Ted's Woodworking, right? So this is a product about woodworking, right? The Big Diabetes Lie. This is a product about diabetes, right? And how to fix diabetes, you know, probably naturally, right? Easy battery reconditioning, numerologists, right? You guys know about numerology? It's, it's kind of like horoscope stuff, you know? People get into numbers. They can use numbers to like predict the future and to, to figure out all kinds of things. It's numerology, right? The Lost Ways, I don't know what that is. Uh, lean Belly Breakthrough, that's, that's like fat loss, right? Paleo hack cookbooks, that is, you know, paleo diet, obviously, and that could be related to lean belly breakthrough. I can see where those two things fit together. Three week diet also fits together. Organifee, green juice, that product, those all kind of work together. I can see how they could work together. Uh, language of desire, that's, you know, that's a relationship product, you know, that's, that's like a, a love product. His secret obsession, I'm not sure what that is. Unlock your hip flexors, another health product, yoga burn, health, manifestation, miracle. I'm not sure what that is. Flat belly, fast, that's another health product. So some of these products, you can see where they would all work together on the same blog. And I could see that, but some of them don't. Some of them don't. So it's like, how do I make these work together if I'm just one guy and I just want to do a simple YouTube channel? And I'm telling you, it's very easy if you start adopting some of these tactics like this this guy that does on the richest, okay? If you can do like an A to Z type situation, you can talk about whatever you want. I'll keep my mouth shut on numerology. Yeah. Well, you know what, man? I really don't know a lot about numerology, to be honest with you. It's funny. I don't know a lot about it. Maybe there's something to it, man. I don't even know. I really don't even know. I know that some people are really into it. Um, you know? But anyways... Um, Check this out. Uh, so let's take the first one, Ted's Woodworking. You know, now if I was running a channel like The Richest, all I gotta do is do a simple video. I, all I gotta do is do a simple video uh, and, and call it like 10, 10 weirdest woodworking projects you've ever seen, right? And then I'll talk about like 10 woodworking projects on my video, right? And then at the end of it, I'll pitch Ted's woodworking product. And I, I will probably just read, you know, Arun's review. I'll read Arun's review and I'll just read it for my video, right? Now all that can easily be translated into a blog post and you don't even have to do 10. Like I was telling you before, I think five works better right now. I think a list of five works better right now because it's quick, it's fast, it's easy. People can consume the information quick. They get something out of it. 
and it just makes sense. So you can do like the five, the five weirdest woodworking projects you've ever seen and have like pictures of each thing and a brief little description of each thing, no more than two to three sentences. Uh, and then boom, cut and paste uh, Arun's review for this woodworking thing. I think that works pretty good. Same thing with the big diabetes lie. You can you can just you can just go you can go top five lists or top ten lists. Um, the idea that I'm trying to convey though is that like when it comes to sub niching down, it doesn't always have to be like the topic. The topic doesn't always have to be you know niche down. You know, because there's some people out there who don't want to be confined to one simple niche. There's some people out there who don't want to just be in one thing, right? So then what happens is, you know, when we look at like the richest, his thing was lists, right? You know, your thing could be, you know, most amazing. You know, your thing could be uh, the smallest, right? You know, let me show you, let me show you five of the smallest this or, or, or five, you know, what, you know, whatever. I'm just speaking tongue in cheek, but the point is, there's people out there, there's websites out there, there's YouTube channels out there that they are A to Z. They found a way to be A to Z. They found a way just to talk about whatever they want, whenever they want, and they do it with these common denominators. If you look at Casey Neistat's channel, uh, Casey Neistat was a, is a big YouTuber, you know, he's got millions of subscribers. Uh, and if you look at his channel, he basically just talks about whatever he wants, you know. One day he's talking about drones, the next day he's talking about his trip to, you know, Africa or, or, or whatever, you know, and, and he just talks about whatever. And the common denominator with that is it's, it's him, right? He's the brand. He's just talking about his life. With <clears throat> the richest, the common denominator is it's always top 10, right? So these guys, they find these common denominators, right? And then that gives them the freedom to just talk about whatever they want. All right. So anyways, um, that's what I wanted to point out because a lot of you guys and, and Arun is a really good guy. He's got all his article titles listed on a sales page. Um, and when a lot of you might go to that sales page and you might see all those articles and you might think, man, you know, that's pretty cool. And it's like, like nine bucks. So that's pretty cheap. But I think I could only use half of those articles. Because I don't work in the paleo diet niche, or I don't work in the the uh, I don't work in the love niche. I don't work out of that, so I couldn't use that article, right? But that is not true. All right, that is not true. You could use that article. Uh, it would be very easy to create a YouTube channel uh, or a simple blog that was just A to Z, man, where you could just promote anything, just using simple top ten lists or. Uh, you know, finding a common denominator where the common denominator wasn't, um, it, it was not, um, the common denominator was not like the subject. I'll give you another example. At the beginning of this video, I told you guys a motivational story about Colonel Sanders, right? And the funny thing about it is, I could do a blog, man, where all I talk about is motivational stories. Like, Every day, I can just do another blog post about a motivational story. So, let's say uh, tomorrow I, I wanted to promote Ted's woodworking product, right? And my blog was about motivational stories. So, what if I told a motivational story about a guy who, you know, did woodworking, right? You know, and then I segued that into uh, a review of Ted's woodworking. You know, what if I did that? You know, would that work? You know, I think it would work. I think it could work. As a matter of fact, I think it has worked. So that's my opinion on it. But I think the idea of A to Z is awesome. I think it's awesome because you're not locked in. You can do whatever you want to. Uh, and then what happens is your brand becomes the common denominator. You become the common denominator, you know. We do a blog called Motivational Stories. Hey, the Motivational Stories is a common denominator. Every day it's something different. Today, you know, imagine that for a second. Imagine this for a second. If every day you told a motivational story that helped people, but every day to monetize that, it always pitched a product. You always pitched a product. And you might be thinking, dude, 
All right, I'm going to do a motivational stories blog. And all right, every day I'm going to do a motivational stories blog. How do I monetize this thing? Now it's like, okay, I get it. This is how I monetize this thing. I tell motivational stories, but they always segue into something about a product that makes sense for people, right? Motivational story to lesson to product pitch, right? And with this kind of a situation, you, you know, you go motivational story to lesson to product review, and it becomes this big post, right? And it always starts with a motivational story about a guy who did woodworking or about a guy who had diabetes or about somebody who got into numerology or, or whatever. And then that kind of turns into a lesson. And then that kind of turns into, hey, by the way, if you're interested in numerology and that thinks you're, thinks, and that sounds like something you'd be interested in, I did a really cool product review on this and I'll put it right below. Boom, and then you slam in the product review, right? And that's how it goes, right? So I think it's awesome, to be honest with you. I think it's awesome. So anyways, if that's something that's interesting to you and you think you could do an A to Z blog or an A to Z YouTube channel where you can just basically talk about whatever you want, um, then people like Aaron who put up, people like Arun who put out these um really high quality PLR content product reviews would be very helpful to you. It would be very, very helpful to you. So anyways, that's all I got. I wanted to talk to you about it. I think it's an awesome, awesome product. You know, Arun gave me the, he gave me a review copy of the front end. He gave me a review copy of all the upsells. And basically it's a whole lot of really high quality product reviews. So, if you feel like you could do like an A to Z YouTube channel or an A to Z, you know, blog and just, you know, tell some stories or list, list some top 10 type stuff, you know, and you feel like just talking about whatever you want every day, this could help you. This could help you. So anyways, that's all I got. I will put a link uh, to Arun's product in the description. You can get that for the right bold price of I think it's like $9.95. So if you save your pennies, you should be able to afford that. Um, and uh, I hope it helps you guys. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, and if you know anybody who might be helped by this video, please like, please share, you know, share it with them. Let them know. I'll be putting this one on my YouTube channel as well. I hope you guys have an amazing Wednesday, hump day. Let's get through this week. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace, you guys.